I stopped smoking last year. Um, not weed, I'm not a fucking loser. <laughs> Just cigarettes, I start smoking cigarettes. And if there's anyone, so I've been off them for almost a year and a half now. If anyone quit in like January and you're still finding giving up smoking hard, take it from someone that's been off them for about 15 months. Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> Please keep smoking. It's so good. Don't take out your life. It's the best. I know you're not meant to say this, but it's the best. Nicotine is the best. I miss cigarettes every day, right? They're my Diana. They're just... <laughs> They're so good, and there's no reason to not do them, right? It's not cool. We all know it is. And I, look, it sucks that smoking cool is cool. We wish it wasn't. It almost wasn't cool, and then they invented vaping, and stocks rose. And you give a baby a cigarette, you're a terrible, terrible mother. It's a cool baby. <laughs> and people give you the reasons. None of the reasons make sense. Oh, Daniel, that's not true. If you stop smoking, you can add an extra 20 years to your life. If you stop smoking, you can get an extra 20 years of added life. Yeah. At the end. <laughs> the shit bit. <laughs> I don't want 20 years of life extra at the end. <laughs> of my, I want it in the middle when I can do things. I don't want it when my dementia's kicking in and my wife's got shit tits. Those aren't the golden years. <laughs> Getting an extra 20 years of life at the end of your life is a lot like wishing for a bigger dick and getting an extra three inches of foreskin. <laughs> what am I meant to do with this? <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> this is worse than before. Such a waste! <laughs> I'm also, um, I'm waking up every day at 7 a.m. That's another, I'm like, that's a positive thing. <laughs> and I don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. If you don't have to wake up at 7 a.m., please don't. <laughs> don't do it, I don't. I work at the earliest 7.30 p.m. at night, yet every day I choose to wake up at 7 a.m which is a lot like having the ability to teleport, but choosing to fly United. <laughs> like, no, I know I could get there sooner, but the staff are just not to be missed. Uh, it's horrible waking up at 7 a.m. And I'm not, I'm not seizing the day at 7 a.m. The best version of me doesn't exist at 7 a.m. I don't run at 7 a.m. And the reason I don't run at 7 a.m. is because I can't run at 7 a.m. And the reason I can't run at 7 a.m. is because I don't have anything that heavy weighing on my conscience. <laughs> and to anyone that's able to run at 7 a.m., tell your friends and your family whatever you need to tell them to get by. Just know I know what you've done. I don't know what exactly, I don't know exactly what you've done, but I know it was fucking awful. I know it was so fucking horrific that it makes you willingly wake up at 7 a.m. and just every morning, like the fucking murderer you are, running away from demons that never fucking stop, okay? 45 minute run, coming back in, panting, sweat dripping down your face, no smile, just ah, ah, ah. Your partner coming downstairs. You've been doing a lot of running since the kid's teacher went missing. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to not garden for a very long time. 